Ah, so, hello everybody! What is going on, dudes? It is Kibishimaki here, and welcome back to some more Devil May Cry. Last time, we went ahead and took care of Mission 21. Living Cave managed to defeat the Dragon's Bone, I think that's what it was called, and clear the final secret mission for the Bangle of Time. This time, well, it's the final battle. Or should I say, the legendary battle. With nothing else to really upgrade, except for, of course, our health and our Devil Trigger gauge. Let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump right into it. I guess the only thing left to note is what the Bangle of Time does, which it kind of does work as it states. It freezes time temporarily. Though the setting for it is kind of weird. Um, I still don't quite understand it, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. But, if you can make heads or tails of it, hey, more power to you. All, you, all I know is you need to collect it to succeed and complete the final secret mission. Well, let's jump right in, there's nothing more to say. Bright light and flashing lights, so be warned. But here we go. Mundus' true form.
just as Mundus has a new form, we take one of our own. A version of Sparta. How this battle works is, well, Mundus has multiple different attacks, but primarily he has these boulders, which kind of set up a force field again around him, meaning you cannot deal damage until you take it out. It is kind of a bullet hell in a way. Shouldn't be too hard to handle. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just line yourself up well and basically try to take out all of these uh, spheres as quickly as you can without sustaining too much damage. Once done, he will be revealed, and all you have to do is just wail. I mean, really, wail. Launch as many as you can, and you're probably wondering, well, why Why do we have our Devil Trigger Gage lit up? Mainly because I'm just kind of waiting for it. Ah! Uh, whoa! Okay, I'm taking... Whoa! I'm getting hit by everything! Why? Jeez! God, he's got a bunch of different attacks and they can be quite annoying, but it shouldn't be too hard to manage as long as you can anchor yourself pretty well. Ah, okay, let me let me let me let me use this before it gets too late, before I regret my decision because this fight is fairly easy and it's not that difficult. And in all honesty, it's just a lot of lining yourself up and trying to wail on him as best as you can while avoiding his own attacks. Now you're probably wondering, why do we still have the Devil Trigger gauge and stuff? Why haven't we used it? Well, because it does this. It will unleash a giant dragon that ignores the shield and bypasses it entirely. Though, of course, the battle with Mundus is not over yet. We are in an unknown region. It is just known as the Legendary Battle. And if we go down to Mundus' entry, the ruler of the underworld, Dark Emperor Mundus, you've been waiting for this moment. Finish him once and for all. Nothing more, nothing less. As much as we love using Force Edge, I recommend equipping Ifrit. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are we forced to use it? You don't stand a chance with... Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm a liar. <laughs> I forget. No, you're forced to use uh, Sparta for the most part against us. Now, in this phase, Mundus has a whole barrage of attacks, and he kind of just utilizes a lot of the stuff that he's used before. Let me equip the grenade gun for this, because this is going to make it so much easier. Boom take care of this as best as we can without getting hurt too bad he will have these fire dragons of course that kind of just storm around and dish out a lot of damage at you they also tend to fly onto the stage so keep that in mind not only that but you have these little balls of rock or whatever that uh shoot um spheres of ice at you so keep that in mind moonus can also just destroy the platforms before you meaning it'll make it a lot harder for you to uh, really hurt um, for you to hurt him once you deal with everything in the way you will basically put him vulnerable and you want as soon as he does this trick you want to take it out immediately there we go come on come on come on no oh. yes of course the lava does hurt pretty bad no come on no oh god is there nothing here there's nothing here Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah! Come on. Take that thing out. Take that thing out. Thank you. We're going to try to take as many of these things out because if we leave them open for too long, they will actually cause us more harm than good by buffing Moondus' attacks. 
Boom, 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 boom. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I think he like either buffs his attacks or it'll heal him. It'll also do that, which is a giant pulse ray that just follows you. So keep that in mind. Thankfully, when beating the Fire Dragon 2, you gain some sort of reward from that. And of course, using Sparta, we gain this little ability of launching these, which are very much helpful. But of course, you can't reach them very far if you're not up in range. And it looks like you can only hit his center to do damage. So again, there is a lot to this. There's a lot to keep in mind, and there's a lot to try and account for. Ugh! Oh my gosh. Boom, 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 boom. Come on. Try to get off as much as we can. Oh, come on. I jumped and avoided that. Let's just keep on wailing. Keep on doing all that we can. Oh, gosh. Now, even though we are a good bit away, we can actually run up close to him in a way and hurt him like this. It's a little bit of a tough spot, but Sparta is really the only way that we can do it. Come on. No! Okay, that was another spell he hasn't done yet that I was waiting for. Come on. Eat it. There we go. Ow! Boom, 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 boom. Jump out of the way. Boom, 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 boom. Go. Keep on wailing, and this is honestly not too difficult. As long as you have a good idea of what you're doing. Believe me. I did this fight before without having any idea of what was going on and what I needed to do. And I fumbled it bad. Come on. Uh. Ah. Oh god. <laughs> boom. And boom. Finally done. Father's also here now. Rest in peace. And with that farewell, thus ends mission 22. No orbs, only a time. Hey, hey we S ranked it too. Hell yeah. Boss bonus and everything. 3,000. I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't think it was an S rank that. Cool. Oh, yeah. That is it. Only one more mission remains. And then we are done with Devil May Cry. So that'll be it for now. Hope you guys did enjoy. 
I'll see all of you dudes later, where we wrap this battle up. And oh my god, I did so much better with Moonmist than I was planning to. I was expecting to fumble a couple times and cut out a couple bits. No, I managed to one one trick it, which is really nice. Thank goodness. Suck it, Nello. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later.